Okay friends, it's time to get started on our engine cooling fan. To do this, it's going to be easiest from underneath the front of the vehicle. That's where you're going to have the easiest access to be able to replace this. Some people might try to replace this from up along the top. That's going to be the hard way. You're going to have to remove a whole bunch of things and drain the coolant. With that said, let's get under the front of the vehicle. Alright, so now underneath this area right here, we're going to have to start removing this piece of the fan shroud. To do that, I'm just going to use an angled pick and I want to carefully get in between this area where you can see the locking tabs. Once I have it in between there, I'm going to come right over here with my index finger, carefully pull down on this piece at the same time as I twist, and this should want to separate. I'll do the same thing over here. There we are. Now once it's separated, you just want to go ahead and push it towards the fan a little bit or towards the engine, give it a little wiggle, and you should be able to pull it out. Now at this point, we have a nice clear view of our fan and the fan clutch. To remove the fan, we're going to have to get right up along this area to that big old nut you can see up there that attaches to the water pump. Now to remove this fan clutch, you're going to have to use a 36 millimeter wrench or a fan clutch tool. The size of that nut is 36 millimeter. When you go to remove this, you're going to want to make sure you turn it clockwise, the opposite that you would normally turn it. Now we're just going to go ahead and turn this right off of here, being very careful, so once it's completely unscrewed, it's going to want to fall out. Watch your face. Carefully remove this from the vehicle. Now that we have the fan and the fan clutch off of the vehicle, let's continue on by removing the fan from the clutch. Looking at the backside where that giant nut was, you're going to also find four 13 millimeter headed bolts. Remove all four. These are all going to look the same. Now I'm going to carefully give this a loving bonk to break it free. Set your old fan aside. Now you're just going to want to give your fan clutch a quick inspection. Of course, if it had to be replaced, now's the time to do it. Inspect those mounting holes and, of course, the threads for that big mounting nut that goes onto the water pump. Assuming everything looks good, let's grab our new fan and start installing it onto the clutch. Now we're going to line up all four of those bolt holes. Start in your mounting bolts. Once they're all started, snug them up. Now we can get back over to the vehicle. Let's slide this fan right up in here, being very careful not to damage it in any way. We're going to start it right onto that water pump and thread it on by hand, of course. When we do this, we're going to be turning it counterclockwise to tighten it. Like I said before, it's kind of the opposite of what you would normally do. Getting it started can be difficult. You just got to get that first thread on. All right, now that it's started, we'll go ahead and spin it on there. Once it's bottomed out, snug it up. There we are. Now when I go to snug this, I'm only going to give it a quick loving tap, essentially just to bottom it out on there and make sure it's snug. You don't need to go ahead and ream on this because when the engine's turning, it's going to be trying to tighten this even more. Now we can start getting this shield on here. Areas to pay attention to are those hooks that go up along each side of the fan shroud. And then, of course, once you get it up there, you're going to have your locking tabs that you need to make sure go into that fan shroud. With that said, let's go ahead and carefully get this up and into position. I'm going to slide it into the grooves along both sides of that fan shroud. 
When I slide it up, I'm going to have this pressed towards the engine. We'll bring it right up as far as we can, and now we'll just go ahead and pull it towards the fan shroud to lock it in. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it's secure. Okay, so we got this thing back together. What's left to do now? Now you're going to want to go ahead and start up the vehicle, listen for it, make sure you don't hear any funny noises, and then take it for a road test. Thanks for watching.